In a previous video in this series, we looked at how users can leverage the Code Sys Soft Motion Toolkit to create functionality to support proprietary robot geometries. Here we'll examine one of the standard robot types, namely the Selective Compliance Assembly Robot Arm, or SCARA. Soft Motion supports two SCARA variants, SCARA 2 and SCARA 3, where SCARA 3 includes an additional linkage at the wrist joint. Both variants include an optional Z-axis, which moves the tool center point perpendicular to the plane shown here. In this video we consider only the more general variant, SCARA 3. We begin by adding axes to our project in the Control X PLC engineering software. In this case, we add virtual axes. Next we add an axis group, defining the kinematic to be SCARA 3. In the configuration dialog of our new instance, we enter the required linkage lengths and map the axes. The fields L1, L2, and L3 refer to the linkages shown here. Likewise, the shoulder, elbow and wrist joints are labeled A1, A2, and A3, map the axes accordingly. Note that the joint angles A2 and A3 are given relative to the position of the upstream linkage. Effectively the kinematic assumes that motor A2 is mounted to linkage L1 and motor A3 is mounted to linkage L2. The animation here shows a robot traversing a line segment with a fixed wrist angle of 45 degrees. The corresponding joint angles are shown. Use SMC group power to power the axes. And use MC group enable to group them. The profile shown here is commanded using a sequence of MC move linear absolute blocks. By default, the SCARA robot is assumed to be left-handed. To configure a right-handed SCARA, use function kin SCARA 3Z config to create a configuration with x elbow right equals to true. Then pass this configuration to the axis group using SMC set kin configuration. For the sake of comparison, we repeat the motion profile we saw previously, using the right-handed configuration. For more information, visit controlx-automation.com. Thanks for watching.